Hello, this is Linda and Aaron with Traveling Flamingo, and today we are in denial at Skipper Canteen in Disney World. If you're a fan of the Jungle Cruise, you'll want to stick around to see what we thought of Skipper Canteen. The Skipper Canteen was a restaurant that we had walked past many, many times and never been to. So with the amount of times we've been to Disney, we really wanted to, to try this restaurant. And when we when we went ahead and booked, we had uh, quite a bit of rain, so we had to run to our reservation. We did have our ponchos, so at least we, were, uh, we weren't soaked. This is the check-in area. As you can see, it's very busy because of the rain. We were really thankful that we had booked ahead of time on the My Disney Experience app and had a reservation for, for dinner. This is the waiting area you're normally in if it's not raining and everybody's sort of piled into one spot. So this is where you'll normally wait for your table. So the restaurant is themed after the Jungle Cruise and right as soon as you walk into the waiting, waiting areas, you're getting that feeling. There are three main dining areas that you could be seated in. The first one is the crew mess hall. This is where we had our dinner. And in all the rooms, you'll see different artifacts that are up on the wall that you'll definitely want to make sure you take time to walk around and check out after you eat. We really believe that they hit the theming on the head here. It is amazing. This is the secret C meeting room that is discovered when this bookcase was opened, and that's the thematic element of this room. One of the things that we really liked about this restaurant was that C or SEA, which is the Society of Explorers and Adventurers, is a very, very big element inside of a lot of Disney lore and Disney rides. It's in Miss Tilly's new ride in Typhoon Lagoon. It's part of the Indiana Jones universe. Overall, they did a really good job of theming this area. It really made you feel like you're in a special room. This is the Falls Family Parlor, and they had these very amazing stained glass parrots that are light, so you can see them above, and we should have a better photo of it shortly. But this is another one of those rooms that you know, gives you another special way to eat in this restaurant. So you can go here a couple times, try different rooms, and it's a really good way of making sure you come back. And again, those parrots uh, were awesome. So now we're gonna take a look at the food that we got. We found the menu was pretty extensive. The food is inspired from the travel, so it's mainly Asian and Mediterranean flavors, and they do serve alcoholic beverages. And the puns are free. Aaron ordered the Schweitzer slush, which is frozen apple juice and passion fruit topped with bursting green apple boba balls. This was first concocted by the noted explorer and humanitarian Dr. Albert Slush. It's $6.50. You can also get it in the canteen souvenir mug for $14.50. This drink was delicious. I think I must have had half of Aaron's. This was our appetizer. It was the Orinoco Ida's Cachapas. Hopefully I said that right. And it was homemade corn pancakes, mojo braised pork, black bean salad, and a nice avocado cream for $11. I got Perkins Thai noodles which is chicken, tofu, seasonal vegetables, and rice noodles tossed in a spicy soy chili garlic. I did also ask for no cilantro because I'm somebody who finds it tastes like soap. This was $24. It's pretty good, but if you're somebody who has a favorite pad thai at home, you may be disappointed. I got the Dr. Falls Signature Grilled Steak, and I was told if I didn't get the steak, it might be a mistake. And it was a marinated New York strip steak with pico de gallo butter, jasmine rice, and braised black beans with applewood smoked bacon. That was $35, and it was very good. The steak was great. Wasn't a huge fan of the braised black beans, but overall it was a great steak, great marinade. Really enjoyed it. For dessert, we shared the signature item that they have, which was a coconut bar with pineapple basil compote and a vanilla cream. We enjoyed it. We thought it was a nice light way to end off the dinner and would probably try something else if we went back, but this was really nice as well. Overall, we really enjoyed our meal here at the Skipper Canteen in Disney World. When it comes to the quality of food, it was really good. There was a lot of great menu options on, on there that you could pick from. The value was what you'd expect for a sit-down restaurant in Disney World, so it wasn't the cheapest, but it's also not the most expensive that you'd get in Disney. And overall, the uh, the staff and the theming and the way in which they bring the Jungle Cruise into this restaurant was, was really good. We really, really enjoyed it. We'll definitely be back. Thank you for taking the time to check out our video. 
If you liked what you saw, please make sure you click that like and subscribe button. If you've ever been here before or would like us to make another video about Disney, please add that in the comments below.